And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And, uh, and we got a rubber Euro, match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starter, Jose Barrios. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. One down. Next for the Brewers, the Nicholas the Dude. Nicholas. Big game last night. He went four for five. First pitch oh, doesn't find the zone. Barrios, multi-time all-star. He throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. I see it. Let's drive it. Ball to strike. Pitch out, but no action. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. It's softly on the ground, left side. This one in the dirt. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. And now a man into scoring position. Now at the plate, Whit Merrifield. Leading up for Toronto. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The one two. And he grounds one to the right side. Throw over to Telez. One gone, bottom half of the first. Batting second. Batting second. The center, center fielder, field. Kevin. Here. Three. 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 Man at second with one away. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. His first at bat was a strikeout. Oh, big dog, right time. Ground ball, left side. What a stop! Fires to first, to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. So here's the cleanup hitter, Tyrone Taylor. Caught looking his first time up. And that one got a piece of him. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on the top of the plate. Garrett Mitchell will hit next. He's over one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Here comes a pitch. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Hey, 
and a pitch. And that's down and away. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Willie Adamas stands in. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That one way outside, ball one. There we go. And there's a ball. The dude at third, Taylor over at second, Mitchell over at first, so going away. Popped up in the infield fly rule call. Now Vic Caratini at the plate went down on strikes his first time through. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as That's of late, now. but a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. First offering misses the mark. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. The pitch. They say it went. One and one. Come on, big guy. Hey, now. The one one. And yeah, that's outside. Two outs. Bases are full. The next pitch misses, and a count is three and one. At the belt and fires. Ball four, he's walked in a run. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Right. Four, four, take your base. Three, nine, three. So two down, and stepping in is the speedy Nicholas the Dude. The Dude. Hey, like you can up there, kid, huh? That's in there. Strike one. In the air, right field. Springer puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, as they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. First and second, two down. Up to the plate is Brandon Bellish. Brandon Belt, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas, and then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. It's in and out of his glove. Hard to tell exactly what went wrong right there. That was a fairly routine ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to stick, and the glove might have taken his eye off it a little early, but regardless... You're going to have to work around that error. 
So one out, nobody on. Next for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. And that one hammered. That's back. Caught just shy of the wall. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give three, three, three. And hit him first base. And the batter is George Springer. Number four. George. Runner takes off for third. There's a ball. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, I can see he had a big lead out there at second base. So it wasn't a shock when he took off. But trying to steal third right there, it's kind of risky, man. You're already in scoring positions. Full four. Take the base. Ball four. Take the base. Oh, no. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Here's the second baseman. Nicholas the dude. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up or something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Chases that one out of the zone. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So he needed a strike out the there, and he got it. And now three, three. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place and let's take that series again. And this one ends with a final score of six to four for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi.